In ancient times, long-distance relationships were often a result of conquests, trade routes, or migrations. Partners would be separated due to military campaigns, exploration, or economic reasons. The Industrial Revolution and the advent of steamships and railways made long-distance travel more accessible. This led to an increase in long-distance relationships as people could move to new locations for work or opportunities. The invention of the telephone in the late 19th century revolutionized communication. People could now have real-time conversations across distances. The development of air travel and the proliferation of telegrams and postal services made long-distance relationships more manageable. Soldiers deployed during World War II maintained contact with their loved ones through letters and occasional phone calls. And today we have personal devices, dating apps, and platforms that make it easier than ever to talk with our loved ones. Dating apps especially have been the catalyst of many new long-distance relationships. Back in 2019, Facebook launched its dating service. By this time, there were already plenty of dating groups on Facebook, and sliding into someone's inbox was seen as a way to find a potential partner. But for all the flaws of Facebook, they did get one thing right, and that was introducing their dating service just before the onset of COVID-19. And from a numerical point of view, it makes sense why so many people are looking for long-term partners. After all, what is the likelihood of your soulmate living within the same neighborhood? Statistically speaking, it's more likely that your soulmate is in a completely different country than your own. But there are naturally a lot of beliefs about long-distance relationships. The magic of relationships is that you are close to someone physically and emotionally and that you share a special connection. But the difficulty with relationships that are long distance is that these elements can be weakened. Naturally, there are many individuals who believe that long distance relationships will not work and are a bad idea. Most individuals who are in a long distance relationship will admit that the distance is not ideal. As the relationship grows and develops, there are key stages. For example, opening up to somebody about your past or having your first argument is often seen as a stage of a relationship that most couples will go through. However, these stages can be very difficult if there is distance. One of the biggest arguments against dating long distance is the issue of trust. Some people say, okay, but how can you really trust somebody if you are miles away from them? Those who support long distance relationships often say that distance is not the factor that results in somebody cheating. In other words, your partner could have an affair or cheat on you even if they were in the same town. And therefore, distance is not a factor. According to the latest statistics, the success rate of long-distance relationships is 58%. The same study also concluded that 55% of people in a long-distance relationship are worried that their partner will meet somebody else. So even though not everybody agrees, it seems that this situation is not ideal for many people. But the good news, if you are living in the Western world, is that you are not alone. During the research, we found that it is estimated that over 1.1 million people in the U.S. are in a long-distance relationship. And there are also stories like this one. Hopeless. I never wanted to trust another woman again, and my life felt meaningless and impossible to start over. Until... I met Joy. We only took a couple pictures. I hadn't slept in 24 hours, and Joy actually had a fever for the last three days. But naturally, whatever happens, there will be situations that will come out of the blue and cause difficulties. One of the biggest challenges, especially for men who are in a long-distance relationship, is the danger of scams and manipulation. Unfortunately, over the years, there has been a great deal of dating scams, and it's not uncommon for scammers to ask for money from multiple sources. But the biggest challenge that you will face in a long-distance relationship is an emotional challenge of trust, loneliness, and insecurities. Most often, people will tell you that if you feel these feelings, it's often a sign that there is a problem with you. However, I strongly disagree with this statement. If you are in a long distance relationship, it is natural to feel feelings of insecurity or loneliness. Imagine if your laptop was open without any passwords on it in a cafe 10,000 miles away. You would naturally feel feelings of worry. Anyone will tell you that this is completely normal. 
So why would some people say any different when we talk about relationships? However, this being said, it is important to face these challenges head on. The goal of any relationship should be agreed upon beforehand. For instance, will you move to her country in the future? This can help alleviate a lot of negative feelings. But if you do not have a common goal in mind, it can make it difficult when those challenging times come. One other strategy that many people use is to simply remember what they signed up for. This may sound harsh at first, but these relationships are not necessarily easy, and it can be a mistake to get into a relationship believing that it's going to be plain sailing. All in all, some people believe that this is a good idea, and others think that it's a waste of time. So, without giving out any names, sure. I have tried a couple like long distance situations and a lot of them didn't work out. I'm like a firm believer that long distance does not work, mm. but same. as much as I am like a firm believer of that, I also have this like weird, hopeless, romantic, like 0.001% belief that like maybe there's one person out there that's like willing to like try but even when like, I say try it's kind of like all right it's probably still not gonna work out but then like I don't know the hopeless romantic in me believes that it, it could happen yeah. right you may find some factors more difficult than others for instance the lack of physical activity may put a strain on the relationship but just like everything else, there are ways around this, such as video chats, etc. Thousands of people are currently in a long-distance relationship right now as we speak. So, for those people, I encourage you to think logically about the situation and remember the bigger picture. If the energy is right and both parties make the effort, it can be the start of something solid. Check out this video where Jamie investigates the real reason why so many men are interested in dating a Filipina.